707 launched a revolution in air travel. It crossed the North Atlantic in half the time, and opened the era of the jet aircraft. Two years later, Lufthansa was flying twice as many passengers. Red velvet chairs, cool beer from the keg, and music from the tape recorder made flying a pleasure. In Renton, near Seattle, the Boeing workers were in high gear producing newer models. Thanks to the growing demand for jet aircraft, Boeing expanded its operations to that of the worldwide industry. In 1964, Lufthansa became the first European carrier to add the Boeing 727 to its fleet. Boeing led the market ahead of Lockheed and McDonnell Douglas and in 1967 had already introduced another new model. The official 737 christening ceremony took place in the new final assembly building on January 17, 1967. Powerful engines, a greater wing surface, and faster speeds. The new Boeing 737 was the product of close cooperation between Boeing and Lufthansa. In the mid-60s, it joined the Lufthansa's Boeing family and remains today the best-selling commercial airline. The gigantic Boeing 747 was quite the international sensation. One, two, three! It had about 400 seats, twice as many as the Boeing 707. For many years, it was the largest passenger jet in the world.